Today we are going to be ranking every Chapter 5 Season 4 weapon and item on this tier list. We've got everything from Doom's Gauntlets to Bananas, so make sure you stay until the end to see how this tier list turns out. Let me know in the comments what do you think are the best items and weapons this season. If you would like, use code ToonSpider in the item shop to support me, and let's get to ranking. Okay, so we are starting off with a big hitter here. This is the Doom Power that you can get from the island that spawns like 5% of the time or something like that. Yeah, that's going S+. Plus. I mean, it's basically the Thanos Power, but Doom. It actually looks like it might be a little better. I have not gotten lucky enough to get it yet but from every video i've watched i know it's op i know it's insane so i feel very comfortable putting it in s plus so the second weapon we got here is doom's monarch pistol this is going in s so this is a mythic weapon and it's pretty good i don't think it's like the best monarch pistol i feel like part of the problem with chapter 5 mythics is they come with specific attachments that you can't change and depending on your play style and what you like the mythic could be perfect for you or it could be not as good as you'd hope for to where you would rather just take a legendary weapon and mod it to how you would like which leads me to my next weapon which is going to be emma frost mythic the striker burst this is going in s as well like when i think of op mythic weapons i'm thinking of like the original midas drum gun or foundations mk7 and i don't think these are on that level i think they're really good and of course if you can get the item definitely take it but i do think you can get a legendary version of these weapons and then mod it to how you would like and it would be better than the mythic version up next is gwenpool's dual smgs and i do think these actually belong in s plus these are the kind of mythic weapons i'm talking about where they are just op and honestly i love it because you can only get one of them they should be broken a little bit the dual smgs are already insane but these are just even better hit harder faster fire rate i love using this weapon so much this season mysterio sovereign shotgun that is going to be going in s as well his mythic shotgun i really like you can correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure it comes with a red dot sight which i don't like on a shotgun so i'd rather take a legendary sovereign shotgun gun and mod it to how I would like compared to using the mythic version. Up next is Doom's Gauntlets and I think these belong in S. I don't think they're insanely broken to where you can't win a fight when you're against them. The mystical bomb does hit pretty hard but it has like a 10 second recharge. There is a secondary power with it where you can shoot it over and over technically but the aim on it isn't the greatest and it only hits for like 40 damage I believe. It reminds me of the Avatar Water Mythic but not as good. So for that it'll be an S. Up next is war machines arsenal and these are going in a so i'm going to speak from a controller standpoint if you're shooting with right trigger it really feels like an smg which is kind of nice up close but you don't get the same movement you can get with an smg or hip firing an smg then you can also shoot rockets with left trigger which feels similar to like the quad launcher back in the day but again it can be kind of difficult to aim if you're just on flat ground you need to have a height advantage so you need it paired with the hover jet or you need to have high ground on your builds for it to be really effective so for that it's going to be an a dooms mythic the siphon mythic that's for sure going in s plus i like to see that in 2025 they're considering bringing back siphon for tournaments i think they should put it in ranked as well i love siphon that was like honestly one of the most fun updates and that dates back to chapter one i feel like the siphon is great all around because it helps aggressive players but it also helps players that tend to get third party a lot that play a little more passive because think about it this way if you win a fight against a squad or a trio or a duo and you're weak once you get your eliminations your health is going to go up so you have a better chance against any third parties either way i do love this medallion and i think it's super useful emma frost medallion where it pings anybody nearby is for sure going s i think it's a very useful medallion especially in end game especially if you get a rat lobby where people are hiding in bushes or buildings the entire time this is really going to help draw them out or at least expose them mysterio's medallion where you can go quote unquote invisible like you get cloaked kind of like the predator or solid snake i just don't think it's that good of a medallion it's not super useful unless maybe you're rebooting your teammate but i feel like other than that it's not that great so i'm going to be putting it in d actually it's not a medallion i will ever really pick up unless i'm doing like some sort of challenge i guess up next is the hover jet and i'm for sure putting this in s plus this is the main mobility for this season and i think it's a really good mobility item i have fun using it it kind of reminds me of back when i played call of duty like black ops 3 or advanced warfare a lot of jetpack fighting which was always fun it is harder to eliminate opponents if you don't have one and they do have one and for that reason alone is why i have it in s plus because it's a big advantage the auto turret i I like it a lot to be honest with you but i'm gonna put it in b because it doesn't do a lot of damage and it's kind of slow but it does help give like people away that are trying to sneak up on you especially if you're not getting their footsteps from visual audio and it's just kind of like bonus damage if you're on your hover jet and you're beaming someone with your striker burst and there's also 15 20 damage coming from your auto turret eventually that is going to add up 
up and eliminate the person. Up next is Cap Shield. I'm going to be putting this in A, I think. Actually, no, I'm going to be putting in S. I think it's still a really good item to have. It blocks 250 damage. It deals out 40, 50 damage when you hit someone. It can ricochet off someone else and hit their teammate if they're really close. It can give you a little speed burst, help you break through walls if you need to. I think it's a really good Marvel item. And going right next to it is going to be Shuri's Claws. I think it has insane combat range up close. Now, of course, if you're playing like zero build and you're playing in a team setting, you'll most likely get beamed by the other person's teammate. You'll get one knock for sure, maybe two, but you're going to get beamed by the other teammates because you're going to be in that combat. But it's also really great for mobility with the dash. And I like the little panther sound effect. I like that there's a power up with it. So you get infinite stamina and infinite strikes and dashes. And honestly, I just have so much fun using them. Like I know I'm probably going to get knocked at some point, but I just have so much fun when I get to engage in the close combat, use them for mobility, especially if you pair it with the hover jet. Overall, just a really fun item. Up next is the regular Monarch pistol. Now this is going in A. Based on the rarity and mods you get, this could easily be an S or S plus, but just a base of it, I think it's A. I think it's a good pistol. It's a fun pistol. I would take the hand cannon over it, like in comparison, but I also love the one-handed Han Solo look you get with it. Like just that simple animation is really fun. Up next is the regular dual SMGs and these are going S. I mean, they're not as good as the Gwenpool mythic ones, but they still hit really hard. I love the reload animation. It is so cool, especially when you're up on the hover jet. It looks sick and they're just a fun weapon to use. Up next is the regular Sovereign shotgun and I have that going in A. I actually really like this shotgun. I, I feel like it's 50-50 from what I've seen between people, but I love how fast it hit fires, especially since I play zero build. So I'm running around a lot, sliding, trying to outmaneuver, slide canceling. So hip firing saves you a little bit of time and gives you an advantage in fights. So a shotgun that is built for that, I have a lot of fun with and I think it's good. Striker burst. I'm going to be putting an S because honestly, it just beams no matter what. It's such a good AR. I've always loved the burst in this game. And if you can get a red dot sight, drum mag, a legendary version, you're going to be beaming the lobby. The hyper SMG, this is going in C. I don't know. It shoots like pellets. Like I don't even think it could eliminate a squirrel. It has a great fire rate and the recoil isn't crazy. It just doesn't hit hard enough. You have to unload pretty much your whole clip on someone. Striker AR is going S as well. Spoiler alert. I think the ARs are really good this season. This might actually be the best season of ARs that we've had this chapter. I love the striker AR in chapter five, season one, and nothing's changed. I love it in chapter five, season four. Up next are flow berries. I think these are great. I'm going to be putting them in A. They give you like 10, 15 shield. I think it's 15. I can't remember off the top of my head though. And you get the no gravity effect with it. Overall, I just think they're great. The hammer pump shotgun. This is going down below as well. Part of me wants to put it in D, but I know it's useful for builds. I'm pretty sure, especially if you're pretty good at editing, because then you can hit your window edit or your corner peek edit, bop someone in the head, reset that edit, then edit again really quick. But zero build specifically, this is the worst shotgun by far. For zero build, it'd be D. So I'm going to just kind of meet in the middle here and go C. Up next is the gatekeeper shotgun, and this is going S. In my opinion, the only thing that holds this back from arguably being one of the like greatest Fortnite shotguns ever is the fact that it only has three shots. Unless you get a drum mag, then you have five. It has a fast fire rate. It hits hard. It's still the best shotgun. It's the best shotgun for the third season in a row. Up next is the combat AR, and I love this AR. It was the best AR last season, in my opinion. It has a fast fire rate. It doesn't hit as hard as the burst or the striker. It doesn't have crazy recoil, and I don't feel like I'm at a disadvantage if I have a combat instead of one of these two ARs. Up next is the pistol, and for some reason, Fortnite pistols are always really good. Like, I'm going to be putting in B, like it's just a solid pistol. I mean, it goes up to A or maybe even S if you can get a red dot sight and a drum mag on it. But overall, they're, they're always really good. Up next is Firefly Jars. And at first, you want to just be like, well, nobody really uses these. Let, I'm just going to put it in D. But then I think about my teammate Toon Trash. And Trash will literally grab these and throw them at people. And people do like kind of freak out when they see fire. They start scrambling or running around. Or if people are camping in a building, Trash will throw these at the building, catch it on fire, and then they run out. And they're easy kills, to be honest with you. So for that, in honor of Toon Trash, going in B. Fishing poles, I didn't even know we're still in the game, to be honest with you. But they're C. I mean, they can get you some loot. They can get you some fish. They're useful. They have a good use. Shockwaves are going S. They're just always great mobility items. They're a staple at this point for Fortnite. You can never go wrong with having shockwaves. Unless you're terrible at using them, then you probably shouldn't pick them up. The card for the tower, this is going S as well. Kind of tempted to put it in S plus because you get a really good advantage. Actually, yeah, I'm going to. You get a good advantage if you can get this card and do the tower because you know every single circle. I love that they've done that in chapter four and chapter five. I hope they continue it. I hope it's something that stays in Fortnite. Mushrooms, 
eh, I mean, they only do five shield. And I only see them near Rebel's Roost these days. So go and see. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring them down to D. Minis, they're going B. Shield and medkits are just so much better now that you can walk around while drinking them and you can stop them at any point. Shield fish, I'll put that at B. 50 pots are going A for sure. Flowberry fizz, I think it's one of the best healing items. So I'm putting that in S. Coconuts are nice because they can do health or shield. So they're going C. Splashes are the only ones that I think are up there with the flowberry fizz because A, you can throw them down. You can get a six stack. They're quick heals and they can do health or shield. Apples, those are going here in D. I mean, all of these vegetables can be super helpful if you're in a tight bind, but it's not like I'm going to be carrying them over minis, 50 pots, or any of these other healing items up here. Bananas are going to go down here in D. Corn is going to be going in C and so is cabbage because I think they do a little more health than these three right here. Bandages will go here as well. Small fries. I forgot these were in the game to be honest with you. Uh, they do 15 health. They're like using a bandage. So I'm going to put them C. Floppers. I'm going to be putting those with the shield fish. They're going to be going B. Med kits are going to be going S. They're probably the third best healing item, like right up there with 50 pots. Uh, 50 pots. I'd probably have fourth. Wait, slurp mushrooms are in the game. I didn't even know that. Huh? Interesting. Well, I mean, a slurp mushroom is really good. It's going C because that can do either your health or shield. The meat sticks are probably going C. I don't like that. We don't have as much wildlife as we used to. I hope they up that in chapter six. Armored walls. Now, of course, I play mainly zero build, but armored walls came out when I used to play builds. I know they're super helpful. I know they're a great item to have. I am still shocked they did not bring them in last season for people that played builds. This would have been perfect for the car meta, so they're going A. And then bunkers. I think these are great for zero build. I'm sure they're, I'm sure they have no use in builds, but they do have a great use in zero build. So I'm going to meet in the middle and I'm going to go A as well, just because they are a great item when you get to use them. But this is my chapter five, season four item and weapon tier list. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Use code Toon Spider in the Fortnite item shop to support me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.